Gabriel's warning to me, specific, to 2020 and 2021. That's not a time frame that only I have had set to me. Others have had the same time frame set to them. Some in other nations. Don't even live in this nation. But I want to say this to us. I was warned. And it's a warning. Hear the warning. It isn't an absolute yet. It will be unless the church humbles itself. Gabriel warned me of the year of 2020 and 2021 as being pivotal in the governmental arena of this nation. That we, if things remain the same, we would face civil unrest, civil war in parts of our nation that would so bring our nation into a state of chaos that we would face invasion. Begin, he said, in late 2020. Now, I'm not so much into the time of it as I'm into the warning of it right now. Again, this is a warning. It's a warning so that we would humble ourselves and not just pray it away so we can go on living our self centered lives. That's worthless. But that we would humble ourselves. Now, why is it so difficult for us to do that? It shouldn't be. If Christ is in us, God is humble. We would humble ourselves before God and realize that it isn't just the fact that judgment is being spoken of, but it's a lifestyle that has led us to this judgment. So to try to dodge the judgment without a lifestyle change is fruitless. And God sees through that kind of situational repentance to where we're just afraid of difficulties. Isn't that true? True repentance is a giving ourselves, a turning ourselves completely over to the Lord. Let me be clear with us. We're going to face, whether it's 2020 or 2021, if that somehow gets delayed, we're going to not only face it in this nation, we're going to face in the world very, very difficult times in the last days, which we are in, and it's going to include governmental, political dynamics. This means nothing to us now that we don't believe. But when it was said to me in 2001, what was going on in our nation right now, and it is going on, was not going on. What it was said to some of my friends that day, especially those who live in other nations. I'm saying this. The Lord is warning about a disruption in this nation that is short in coming politically, governmentally, economically. I will say this as well, that everything Gabriel said to me has not been missed and is still coming unless we repent. Now, Say, man, I am repenting. I know that's true with many of us in this room, if not all of us. We've been in a place of repentance. We've been humbling ourselves before God. We've been crying out to him, not just personal sins. I mean, you'll blow through that after a while, hopefully, get past that, <laughs> and, and get on to the sins of the church, starting with Christ being rejected and lost starting with a, a leadership that wants its way rather than God's way, Christ. It wants to be the head of the church rather than Christ the head of the church. Isn't that true? I'm belaboring this for a moment, just rubbing salt in an open wound, I know, but it's, it's got to be said. If leaders are not leading people to Jesus Christ, get out of the ministry. You have no business in it. 